Okay, mics are on. We are back from our break. I think what we're going to do um, <clears throat> possibly is uh, skip the next break, the next schedule break at 1.30 so we can catch up on time a little bit. So if anybody needs to excuse themselves. Raise their hand. <clears throat> <laughs> we trust you just to walk out and come back. <clears throat> you just have to carry a big hall pass. Yeah. Um, so, uh, welcome, Mr. Glenn. Thank you for having me. I'm here to uh, provide an update on uh, our BOSS program, uh, the business of success beyond sports. And I figured before we update you, we would give you a little video to show you what it is. If that's all right with everybody. <coughs> Actually, <clears throat> so we, we, it's a year-round, multi-year program, right? Uh, STEM focused, math, science, uh, language arts, critical, uh, reading, argumentative writing. And we start that year-round process with an intensive two-week camp where we get to know each of these boys and what makes them tick and what their unique needs are so we can build a plan for them. Make it through that. So that's a highlight of our two-week camp. It, uh, every day is the same. We start off with uh, one hour of uh, non-sports specific <coughs> athletic training. That's our jump start. Uh, then we spend a couple hours in the computer lab. Uh, uh, our high school kids and the middle school guys spend two hours working on math. And we have uh, speakers, uh, a, a subject matter speaker at 11 o'clock every day on everything from uh, the dangers and powers of social media to how to use constructive criticism to transforming beliefs. <clears throat> and we believe simply that uh, if you can change their mind, you can change their choices. If you change their choices, you change their lives. Okay, that's a simple rule that we follow. <coughs> and uh, so today we're going to talk about where we got started, how we got to Long Beach, our enrollment and growth, both in students and in the curriculum. 
and the impact we're having on the kids and our fundraising efforts. Um, we started BOSS uh, five years ago in uh, Los Angeles at Challengers uh, Boys and Girls Club. And you can see from the picture we had one room and, and we had about 20 kids, uh, both boys and girls. Uh, even then, though, it was a STEM focus with math and science and uh, field trips to places like Applied Minds, which is like a Willy Wonka chocolate factory for geek lovers and uh, that sort of thing. And then bringing in uh, people that look like the kids who, who have uh, not only looked like them but come from the same places they come from, who've had similar experiences so that when uh, we tell them they can win, they can believe us because we came from the same place they came from. <clears throat> uh, three years ago, uh, now I'm from Long Beach and I have uh, four sons uh, who are products of the district, uh, all of them honor students. My oldest son is a lawyer. Uh, my second son has got his master's. Uh, my youngest son is a uh, senior at UC Santa Barbara. And in a nutshell, we're just doing for these boys, same thing I did for my kids, same thing that people did for me, is that it's changed my attitude about school and the connection between my achievement and the rest of my life. <clears throat> and uh, we've grown now from the two dozen kids that we had in uh, Los Angeles, what is that, Challengers, to now uh, about 125, actually about 140 kids since we prepared <coughs> this slide. And uh, we have kids from 12 of the 20 middle schools and four of the high schools represented in the program. Uh, we deliver year-round programming from the College of Business at Long Beach State uh, through a partnership with Long Beach State. And this is really a nice kind of situation that we have in that uh, we work with the Men's Success Initiative on campus. Those are the young men of color who volunteer to serve as mentors for our middle school kids. And then we help those kids at Long Beach State, like two of them you saw in the video during the Keywood Inglewood Stadium, they actually get paid internships uh, through Keywood, which is one of our sponsors. Uh, we've helped Long Beach State kids get into PhD program at University of Kentucky, University of Syracuse. Uh, we just helped two of them who transferred, I guess, part of the promise from Long Beach City to Long Beach State uh, in one of those majors that wasn't included, uh, physical therapy. And uh, they're now, uh, they'll be working at Exos, which is the largest organization in the nation that provides health and wellness to corporate. They started out just providing that service to uh, professional athletes. <clears throat> uh, so like I said, so we've grown from 25 to about 140, about half of the kids are middle school. Uh, we have uh, 10 sets of brothers, that is a, a younger, older brother, and we have two families that actually have three boys in the program. Uh, uh, and the program is just, ex is just expanding by word of mouth pretty much. I mean, our focus is kids who play sports and uh, because we know, I know, that many successful people attribute their success in life to their participation in sports when they were kids. Uh, character built, lessons learned, camaraderie, all those same kinds of things. And, and actually the attitude to win so that uh, everything that we do is competitive. I heard about the MBA, the Math Basketball Association, earlier. So, so we have a math madness. Everything is March Madness is going on now, and so our kids spend every day competing in math. Uh, it's result, resulted in a 20% increase in their test scores with a pre and post camp assessment that was developed by one of the PhD professors over at Long Beach State. Uh, uh, the curriculum, we worked closely with Long Beach State, the argumentative writing, critical reading, that was taught by graduate students at Long Beach State, so we have a strong partnership with them, but we help, their students help us, we help their students. Uh, we just had a showcase of BOSS as part of our fundraising weekend, where we exposed BOSS to 200 uh, kids who are not in the program who are Long Beach Unified School District students, and already uh, we've got more than 30 of them that have signed up. Uh, to the left, 
the schools that we have kids and to the right are schools that we don't and we've actually just reached out to all of those schools that we don't have kids hoping uh, that we can uh, get in front. We've been actually to those schools and we just keep working to, to, until we can get some kids to understand the benefit of being part of the BOSS program. Uh, the curriculum's expanded. Uh, we have a strong STEM focus, like I said, science and math. We get year-round learning through a partnership with Microsoft. Uh, and uh, the biggest thing that's happened recently for us is we've been able to raise enough money to actually hire a program manager, okay, so that I don't have to spend so much time on the, in the program, but I could spend time on the program. <clears throat> and uh, uh, performance uh, impact metrics, uh, working with Chris Lunn, uh, we've been able to produce, and I don't know if, I can't read that from here, <laughs> but I can send it to you. What I can tell you it shows is that the boys who are in our program are performing boys who are not in the program in all of the categories that the district tracks. And we've only just begun. <clears throat> we, like I said, we moved here three years ago, and when we came in three years ago, it was just a two-week camp. Uh, last year was the first uh, year of our year-round programming, and so this year we actually also provided tutoring, uh, and real-world experiences, mentoring opportunities for advocacy and service for the boys during uh, the school year. <clears throat> uh, near term, oh, actually I can just read this. Huh? Uh, the near term goals are, uh, are to improve self-perception, body language, attendance, attitude, values. Uh, really, we, the short term is to make sure that these kids are all high school ready entering ninth grade. <clears throat> long term, they'll be college ready entering 12th grade, and then longer term, uh, they'll graduate from college and then they'll come back uh, to help us in the program. And we already got examples of that. One of uh, <clears throat> kids who was our counselor in our first program when we went to Los Angeles is a Long Beach Unified uh, kid, uh, Daniel Anderson, who has since graduated from Vanderbilt <clears throat> in engineering, and now uh, we helped him get a job at Keywood. Uh, and now he's come back and brought Keywood as a sponsor to the program. So it's like a full circle kind of a deal. So we're bringing resources to these kids and to the district and to the city uh, that hadn't existed here in the city before in terms of helping Long Beach Unified School District children, like the Los Angeles Lakers and the Los Angeles Clippers and the Los Angeles Rams and AEG and Keywood and Turner Construction. Some of these organizations <coughs> are now interviewing on Long Beach State's campus. They didn't do that before. And so we, uh, we like to think we uh, like are aligned with and helping the college promise you know, become real to these kids. Because <clears throat> there's one thing to get them into school, but how do you get them out of school and get them into a job and in a career? Uh, so, uh, so the positives, uh, this year was our second uh, fundraiser. Uh, we recognized some leaders and legends uh, uh, around Southern California, again, bringing people to Long Beach, uh, Jim Hill, uh, who's shown there uh, to the right, uh, Naomi Rainey, who is actually, Naomi Rodriguez is actually a Long Beach State grad. She's the vice president at the Los Angeles Dodgers now, and we were able to raise twice what we did last year, and again, able, enabled us to hire our first uh, employee. Uh, I'm totally a volunteer, living off Social Security. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've got lots of good friends who, who have the wherewithal that they can volunteer their time, and that's how we've really been able to make this happen on an almost all-volunteer basis with year-round, hands-on, 24-7 uh, connectivity to these kids. I mean, I've showed you my cell phone, and I've got messages like to go like for two years with some of these families, parents, moms, and kids, and that sort of thing. <clears throat> uh, 
So what's, ne what's next? We actually got to uh, figure out how to manage because the program is becoming real popular. And so one of the things I'm thinking is that we won't take high school kids anymore. We'll just start with the, uh, actually we, got, we have two third graders, a couple fourth graders who are brothers of kids who are older in the program. I think we'll just focus on the middle school kids, uh, except for the high school kids who are currently in the program. We'll see them all the way through. <clears throat> but as they, what we're finding out is that they get into high school, and unless we've had a chance to be with them, it's hard for us to get them to think the way we want them to think, like winners, at everything that they do, no matter what. <clears throat> uh, so our program manager, she just came aboard. She's uh, got her master's in education from USC. Uh, she worked at SC for three years, worked at the University of Washington, and actually is over at Long Beach State. Uh, in the College of uh, Math and Natural Science. So she's working us on a part-time basis, but she's already asked us if she could quit a job <laughs> and work with us full-time because she enjoys uh, the impact. Because you can, at this age, with middle school kids, you can really see uh, the impact on their lives. Uh, and uh, like I said, we've, we've got some, uh, some new friends. We just formed an athlete advisory board. I, I made a living as a lawyer, I've been practicing lawyer for 42 years. I come from nothing, uh, dad, alcoholic, mom, with a ninth grade education. So again, we, we can tell them with authority that I don't care what your circumstances is, you can make excuses or you can make money. But you can't make excuses and money at the same time. And, uh, and so because of my background in pro sports, we're able to tap in to people like this to bring on, again, to bring resources and, uh, to the city of Long Beach and to the children here. Um, the original boss is a guy, Clark Kellogg, on your list here. Clark, uh, I represented him when he played uh, in the NBA. He's been for 25 years now, uh, broadcast on CBS, NBC. And he's come out here to Long Beach from Columbus, Ohio, at his own expense uh, to pour into our children here in Long Beach. Uh, Robert Gustavus also represented, he came out of Arizona State, and again, now what he's done is getting his company, AIG, to, to donate money to the program. Uh, Ralph Jackson is a UCLA great who's at Morgan Stanley now. Willie Galt, I represented him when he played, and all of these guys are bringing their resources, their networks together so that we can help Long Beach kids. And our newest supporter uh, is another uh, native Cleveland. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio originally, although I've been in California for 40 years. And uh, Rich Paul, who is the founder of Clutch Sports, uh, whose clients include uh, none other than LeBron James and uh, Anthony Davis and now uh, Draymond Green and a whole bunch of other players, uh, uh, will be bringing resources to help Long Beach kids win at no cost or expense uh, to the university. So I wanted to, I don't have any students with me because our kids are in class, uh, but I do have a video that I can show if somebody can help me figure out how to do this. So this is just a, a random group of our kids who share what they, how the boss is impacting them. Go, go.
Me and Mr. Blair ended up winning the contest and were flown out to Atlanta, Georgia for a total of four days. While we were in Atlanta, we got to visit Martin Luther King's birthday. Hello, everyone. My name is Christian Rios. I'm 13 years old. I'm an 8th grade student at the Hill Middle School. I play baseball, basketball, football. I'm from Seal Beach, and right now I'm still excited about what I'd like to be. I've only been with Boss for about six months now, and I've learned a lot so far. I've learned how to advertise, start a business, I refresh my coding skills, and overall, I've gotten, I've gotten a lot better in very diverse areas. There's a need for some large scale companies. They've, given some, they've also given us a lot of insight about how to keep a young man on a good track to success. The BOSS program is not just an academic program, though, but a self building program that builds good character and everybody that does. As a person that plays multiple sports, it makes it a little bit more challenging to keep up with all my schoolwork and other activities. Good evening, my name is Dylan Ballard. I'm 13 years old. I attend Denver's Learning Academy and an independent homeschool. I play football for the Lakewood Longhorns, and when I grow up, I'm going to be a professional football player and an architect. When I think about the BOSS pro program, I think of athletics, academics, and generosity. Every day before our summer camp classes, Mr. Glenn had head coach Anthony, had coach Anthony who is a current football, NFL football player, teach us different drills for footwork and speed. Also, a special speaker ranging from a former college football player to an NBA referee talk to us about the importance of a backup plan and a good education. Speaking of education, I've learned so much during the two-week summer camp and the boss Saturdays that are throughout the school year. I've learned how to make and present a business plan with Microsoft how to properly summarize different books, and how, how, how and when the USS Iowa, the former military warship, worked. My name is Darius Williams. I'm a sixth grade student athlete at Hoover Middle School in Lakewood. I'm from Lakewood, California. I'm going to be an NFL, be an NFL player later as well. I also plan on owning an NFL team. I play running back and corner football and point guard and basketball. I'm a big girl in the pod, and I have been a part of the boss program since summer of 2017. Originally, only my brother was a part of the boss program. Until Mr. Everett saw me in my mom's work car, I should have shot him my my brother. He, he asked my my mom why I wouldn't stay for the summer program. She told Mr. Everett that I was, that I was only in fourth grade, and then he asked if I wanted to stay. And the rest is history. <laughs> Bob has taught me how life as an athlete is so much more than a sport. I have, I have learned how to introduce myself and speak to the crowd. I have also learned how to manage my mind the correct way, and I was favorite of frivolous. <laughs> Before joining the world, I didn't know what networking was. But now, we, but now I, know, I know how important it is. Because of boss, I have learned how to be a better, a better leader on and off the court. And My name is Andrew Pierce. I'm in 11th grade. I live in Lillian High School, and I play basketball. I've been with the BOSS program for over four years, and I think I've been there as long as I've ever known. I've learned a lot from this program. I've learned how to code through Microsoft, how to build Long Beach operates, how to eat healthy and be fit. I learned how to do RAM savings being built, and that math can, math can be fun if you add the same people a little bit of competition, especially when you win the competition. <laughs> this, this program has shaped me for the better. If we're not on this program, I will not be the young man that should take. This program has taught me life, valuable life lessons and skills that I was never been able to learn on my own. It has taught me not only how to be a man, but how to be respectful and a positive role model amongst my family and peers. I love basketball, and I've been playing since I was eight years old. I always dreamed about becoming an NBA player. 
did a cross court, did a cross court game. I learned how to dream. I was learning that basketball. I was learning that basketball is not who I am, but one of the things I do. I still dream of becoming a basketball player, but now my goal is not to only one day play for my favorite team, but only. Yeah. The boss program has taught me that education is key. Whether I'm drafted in the NBA or not, whether I'm on the NBA team or not, I need communication and a backup plan. Not only have I learned a lot through this program, I've experienced more than I can dream of. I experienced my first baseball game when I went to Dodger Stadium to watch Dodgers play. I experienced my first football game when I went to the Rams play. I experienced my first basketball game when I went to the Staples Center to see the Lakers beat the Mavericks. <laughs> this is a game that I will never forget. This program has shown me, he showed me that I can be successful outside of basketball. It has shown me people that look like me, who have struggled more than me, but still found the determination to become successful in life. This made me ask myself, if they can do it, why can't I? I ask myself this question anytime I try to become discouraged. That's right. Really? I, I am uh, the uh, biggest uh, one thing I like to boss is our mantra, all we do is win no matter what. And that's true because they're teaching us here that don't let anything stop you from reaching what you want to do. Just do it. So if you like, if anybody tells you negatively, don't listen to them because later on in your life, they're not going to matter. Uh, you're out to see them, they're going to be they're going to be looking up to you and be like, why don't you mess with this kid? Or why don't I become friends with him? If you become friends with him, you get the uh, Boss is opening up a new window of connection to us as Christian uh, athletes, as kids. They can build connections for us. Or when we become in that position, we we have people to go back on to help us. Like, we can show you how to get out there. Uh, uh, thanks for supporting us. My name is Emma Longstreet, and I'm a static fan in the Long Beach Unified School District. Being part of the ball program has been a great experience for me. What I like most about the program are the principles that are taught and add value to me being a great person and leader. Being part of the of God has helped expose me to a wide range of professionals, such as lawyers, software engineers, drafters, and many other professionals in different fields. It is a famous quote that sums up what being a part of God truly means to me. You all have heard of John Wooden, right? Great. This quote says, be more concerned with your character than your reputation, because your character is what you really are, while your reputation is merely what others think you are. I've always felt like I would be a great leader one day. The boss program has helped me be disciplined, focused, and persistent, while exposing me to different fields that I have, have that I have the opportunity to excel in. I thank God for the opportunity to be a part of BOSS, the BOSS program. I thank you guys for supporting BOSS. So there's six principles that we uh, uh, mentally BOSS, uh, emotionally, physically, socially, spiritually, and economically BOSS. And everything that we do is, is based on those principles. And I think I left you guys with a two-pager, which is like a typical Saturday. Uh, one, a uh, couple Saturdays ago, uh, we spent time uh, with the big five of money, how to make money, save money, protect money, invest money. And uh, uh, our next gathering, uh, we actually canvassed all the kids to determine uh, what <coughs> career fields they wanted to go into. And so what we did, we put together uh, a meeting uh, in April where we bring in architects and engineers and software developers and uh, law enforcement folk and lawyers and uh, doctors and scientists 
and let them have one-on-one -on -one conversations with these kids about what does it take to get uh, like a gap analysis, so to speak, what, you know, what their present state reality is and what their future and what they have to do between now and later in order to make that happen. So, so we're putting into them grown-up concepts <laughs> that, uh, I mean, uh, Jim Collins, good to great, uh, Robert Kawasaki and those kind of principles that we're putting into these kids in the fourth and sixth, fifth and sixth grade and seventh grade, which is why you hear them talking about owning stuff, not working. I mean, the, the cash flow quadrant, they can talk about all of that stuff. They can talk about the four stages of learning from unconscious incompetence to uh, unconscious competence and, and how you, what you have to do to get through those stages. And, <clears throat> and so if, if you guys could help us at all, it would be to get more of your schools uh, to get excited and so we could help their kids. Uh, like I said, we, we're in about half of the schools now and uh, uh, we will continue to work with uh, the ones that we're not in uh, to get in them and, uh, and so that all these things that happened in high school, we're fixing all that stuff. In fact, uh, I'll tell you a story about it. One of our kids, Mackay Williams, is a ninth grader at St. Anthony's and he's a, you know, like 4.0 student. He's been with us three years. That was Darius, the little kid. That's Darius' big brother, Mackay. <clears throat> and the Munzer Foundation is one of our funders and they came out for a site visit and uh, uh, the person from Munzer wanted to talk to some of the kids. I just said, well, you talk to anyone you want to talk to. You don't, I'm not going to pick them. I'll just pick whoever you want to. So she picked Mackay and she talked to Mackay and, and she later called me and said, but this kid was so mature and he was able to carry on a conversation with me. What are you doing? And I said, well, he's going to be over at uh, St. Anthony's in the fall. And she says, oh, no wonder. He's going to St. Anthony. I said, well, no, no, he hasn't been to St. Anthony's yet. He's been with us for three years. That's how we're sending him over to St. Anthony. So, so they're coming high school ready uh, with, uh, with the attitude uh, which uh, determines the altitude that they can achieve, that there's nothing that's going to stop them. And if they have something in their way to them achieving success and joining the ranks of the successful, they let us know and we'll eliminate that obstacle for them. Any questions? <clears throat> Dr. Williams? Yeah. Just really appreciate you being able to come in and, and, and showcase what your program has done in the short time that you've been in Long Beach. And uh, uh, I know uh, that you've been working very hard to bring these young boys in and also to uh, uh, to, to look at resources to help the program. So, uh, and, and I do thank you for, uh, uh, for recognizing me. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, well, uh, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Dr. Williams. Uh, I mean, I've known him for a long time. And even though we went to Los Angeles, it was just like the big city kind of a deal. But uh, after two years, I realized that I might as well have been in New York in terms of trying to deal. In fact, Los Angeles has come to Long Beach now and asked us to bring the program to Los Angeles. And I told them, no, we, we're going to stay in Long Beach and, and we're going to grow and develop the program in Long Beach. <clears throat> I'd also like to thank Chris. I've thanked him before, but the district this summer, because we've grown every year and provided more resources and opportunities to the kids. But this summer we were able to have Chromebooks. We have access to the computer lab, but now that we have enough kids, we have middle school kids in one class and high school kids in another class, and the fact that we have Chromebooks uh, enables us for the kids who are not in the computer lab. Because uh, the math madness that we do is through a program, a uh, first in math, that we work with Robert Sun out of Philadelphia. So uh, thank you for that. We appreciate it. And uh, I'm hoping we get all of them back to you guys. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's just a passion for me. I do it, uh, and I don't get paid to do it. I don't need to get paid, but just seeing the change in their lives. Like the one kid, um, the second to the last kid, uh, Tavian, who said he was an eighth grader tensioner, now he's a tenth grader at Millican. And if you saw him now, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even recognize him. He don't look nothing like that kid right there. Uh, he's just a totally different kid. Well, we want to thank you for all that you do for our students, yeah. and thank you for being here today. Um, <clears throat> but um, unless there's something else, somebody quick, wants to Quick add. question, thank you uh, for your work. Um, what are some of the challenges and or um, 
obstacles that are in the way in working with some of the students at the other schools? The schools where we don't have right. kids represented? Right. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we've been to those schools. Many of them we've been to, um, like Robinson, not Robinson, but um, what is it? Uh, we've been to all of them more than once. So some of them we've been to once, like Avalon, we have never been to. But um, I don't know. I mean, I think that the, the teachers, the administrators, uh, I, I don't know what motivates somebody to take advantage of free help <laughs> for their kids. Uh, uh, but maybe you guys can, can inspire them uh, to take advantage of this. That we don't charge anything for what we do, and we take them places they never would probably go to uh, in, in experiences that they might not ever experience, even just the, the aerospace deal sure. for two days. We actually had three weeks of camp this year because we spent two days at aerospace. And uh, so, I, so I don't know. I mean, we just, but we're not going to give up because all we do is win. <laughs> so we're just going to keep going back until they get it, right? Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you for your good Thank work. you so right. much. Um, quick question. What's the process? So if a parent or a student hears about it from their friend or sees this and is interested, what's the process for them to apply? Um, uh, well, we got an online, we have a paper application, we have an online application. Okay. Um, there's no, we don't cherry pick, we take them, uh, we move them from, uh, that, um, we have one kid who actually uh, from Franklin, uh, this is his third unit program, uh, Marcus Frazier, uh, he came to, he was an F student, a nice straight A student, and he actually moved to San Diego. But he comes up from San Diego to continue to participate in the program. This is his third year with us. So, I mean, we don't care what their situation is. Again, we're moving from failing to poor, from poor to fair, from fair to good, and from good to great. So if we meet people interested, we can just pass along the website, and there's a link for an application there, and yes. they go to go. All right, perfect. Yes. Thank you. OK. Thank you. Well, thank you again. Okay. Um, it's always good to hear about successful programs, and yours is definitely successful.